Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Intermakers. But wait, first of all, happy 2020. Oh yeah, it's so happy exciting. It's a new decade, new year, fresh things. New content. Yes, new, new energy. Content. We're super excited to be back. I hope you're all very excited as well. Yes. Today, we're going to be talking to you about five things you can do to get a head start for summer 2021 internships. Even if you already have an internship, or you haven't gotten any internship, there are some things that can for sure help you get an internship for next summer. Wait, you said 2021, so not this summer, next summer. Next summer, next summer for sure. I know you, you people might be thinking it's too early, but it's not. We promise we will be explaining this in the next episode. Well, next video, we will be explaining to you exactly the timeline of how we look at a year. That way you can understand where we're coming from. But for now, just bear with us. All right, so just to get this started, uh, we're going to talk about tip number one, which is get involved with side projects. Basically, start working on things on your own, on your free time, that uh, there's different projects that might help you in school or like might be related to, to like what, whatever you're learning in school or related topics. Let's say, for example, uh, I majored in computer science and I, I really liked web development. So I started to work on... Uh, building websites on my own, building uh, web applications, mobile applications, and this was so helpful because when when the time came and I had interviews, I was able to talk about all of these projects. So that's why it's so important to have side projects. This doesn't only have to be for computer science. This can be for any major. Just think about just just Google it. Google side projects I can do as a X major. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. there's so so many projects out there. But going into another advice, the second tip we have for you would be <laughs> would be that you join student organizations or any leadership thing that you can think about. It doesn't have to necessarily be on school, it can be in your community, but make sure that you're getting involved in student organizations. It's, uh, I mean, just think about it. Recruiters are looking for a well-rounded student, right? Someone who has people skills, someone who is intelligent someone who is hard working someone who has initiative right and i think that certain organizations are one of the best ways to help you learn how to work with people and the reason is i mean i've been in a lot of student organizations and everybody has a different point of view it makes you understand so many more things even from outside your own perspective and this speaks really highly about you i think that a lot of my opportunities have come because of student organizations so, tip number three? Tip number three, volunteering. Volunteering mm -hmm. is very important because it, just like side projects, it gives you a lot of experience. But the thing here is that many people have a lot of work to do. And if you offer a hand just to help, like volunteering, like volunteer help, they will probably say yes because they need help with whatever mm -hmm. they're doing. And I mean, if, if you want to get real experience, and you want to graduate with that experience or you just want that experience to get like an internship, then uh, a vo like volunteering is like the perfect thing to do. Let's say for example, you are very into, I don't know, you like to record videos. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, might, you might talk to your, I don't know, your favorite YouTube star, your favorite uh, influencer, I don't know, and you can send them a message say, hey, would you mind? Or do you think I could, record like five videos for you for free could i do that for you and uh, they could respond uh, saying yes they could not respond or whatever but i mean if you get one yes that's an opportunity of getting experience also um you don't necessarily only have to do those things you can also volunteer like in your communities in your school offering a service that you know how to do because of your major to someone who needs help you can volunteer for people to do like their accounting, if you have a friend who's making a, his business, like there's so many things you can volunteer and doing on that helps you at the at the long run. Yeah. Yes, at the long run. Because you can talk about these experiences, right? <laughs> Tip number four. <laughs> Do research. Um, this might sound like, oh, this sounds like really STEM oriented, but not, no. In reality, all your professors are doing research, all of them, and also a lot of PhD students. We highly recommend this for you because doing research opens so many doors for internships. 
because you're doing research in something really specifically that you can actually talk about in your interviews. Just to give you an example, I did research on a summer. The next fall, I interviewed for the following summer to get an internship, and all I talked about was my research. And I highly recommend it. It exists for all majors, and it's a great, great area to like have a more complete, well-rounded it's a great way to become a more complete, well-rounded student. Yeah, it also goes hand in hand with volunteering. So if you if you want to get that experience, that that research experience, mm -hmm. and as Marina said, like all all majors are doing some kind of research. So just reach out to your professors. And pro tip: normally professors are really full on capacity, so go to your PhD or TAs. Um, this will help you a lot. But lastly, we have a really, really amazing um, pro tip that has become more popular throughout the years. I feel like this is the most important of all, and it's programs. Um, so what are these programs? These programs are hosted by any company that you can imagine. So not all companies have it, but the majority do. And I can think of companies such as like Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, Google, um, Palantir, Palantir P&G, so, so many other companies have programs that are for three days or even one day in a weekend. And it's all like, all paid, all expenses paid. What happens is you get flown to their headquarters and you get to have workshops with recruiters and you can get to know them, they can get to know you, but you have to apply to these programs. So we will be putting a list of those programs down underneath with the links below. But the important thing about these programs is that they happen during the spring semester. So if you don't apply for these like in January or February, there's no way you can go. And it would suck because the reality is that these programs give you a head start compared to other, um, other, applicants. other applicants for the next year. So that's why we're saying it starts now. It starts right, right, right now. So I think that would be probably the last and most important um, sure. advice of all for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we really hope that you found all of these tips very useful. We're super excited to be back. Yes. We're really, really happy that you're here with us uh, this new year, uh, yes, watching all the yes. new content. Um, and yeah, I mean, that, that's about it for, that's for this video. It. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. We have so many other cool things happening. Um, you will see. Yeah, you will see. it's going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year. Anyways, take care and don't forget to share and subscribe this video. And see you next week. Bye. Bye.